Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a post on my AT After Dark pages via either YouTube or Instagram. I just kind of want to get some real talk about this Simple Jack and what my thoughts were. Initially, I started off with a Patrol SL and my relationship with Sons, like I was basically just going to make a Patrol SL cool. Uh, you know, you go to shows, we would do things like that. And we would have every other single gun in the lineup, like set up, optics, lights, lasers, suppressed and there'd just be like a patrol SL off to the side, uh, not set up. So at first off, I was just like, like, well, let me get one of those. Let me set it up. Let me set it up how I would use it. Um, and then the more I got into it, uh, the more I just said like, hey, let, let me think about this. So I kind of a bifurcated approach here. So if you're a new person, you're new to guns or you want to get your first AR-15, I wanted to save you money, but I wanted to give you enhanced items that I think will actually be a benefit to you. Also, uh, view the polling, uh, real talk, if you have one of these deals, like sometimes like they don't provide these rifles to you, you gotta buy them on your own. And I wanted to get with like really what you need, especially if you're one of them cats that are just starting out. Uh, maybe you're not working any details, maybe you're an alternate for the detail, maybe you're not on good detail. And I wanted to give you either person a starting point that will carry you far into the future. The reason why it is not a railed gun is because the vast majority of us are not using night vision. If you're not using night vision, you do not need enablers on your rail to maintain zero. I do not, I need my light to identify. I do not, my light, I do not need my light to be zeroed. Also, if I start with a, uh, an MOE Magpul handguard in a front side post, I start at a much lower cost. So my AR-15 priorities of life, i.e. sling, light, optic, I can spend that money and make up the difference. Uh, starting from there, just personal preference. For me, accuracy has always come from the trigger. Started with the trigger, is that part of my shot process? More than a rail has. Uh, so a LaRue MBT trigger. I think it's very cost effective. It's very cost effective for Sun, so we can pass that savings on to you. Liability, just what Eugene Stoner wanted in the first place, crumble carrier group, all right? It just eats, it makes it easier, keeps it cleaner, knocks the gunk off a little bit better, a little bit more resistant. This again, that's a longevity function. Also, the Magwell. I don't know about you guys, we all probably don't practice our reloads as much as we should. And if you do, in the dark, low light, no light, things have gone pear-shaped, sugar has turned to shit. It's nice to have a Magwell. It does not hurt. Those three things are all back here. They can sustain you for a long time. As far as now people worried about lasers, well, me using a Unity riser, and again, dealing with HRF, HRF makes this skiff. Probably be doing my best to get a laser aiming module on here with a remote pad. And then again, I mean, everything's back on the receiver. I don't have to worry about rail flex as far as my laser maintaining zero. Uh, I think it's funny, I see a lot of dudes using this setup even on fully railed guns. So might as well have something lighter. At the end of the day with this guys, I wanted it to be simple. My name is Jack. There's the movie, it's funny, but I wanted something that you could really use as a starting point forever. And hey man, if you don't like this upper man, keep your charging handle, keep your bolt carrier, keep this lower, go on Suns, they will ship you an upper to your house if you think that you evolved in and just put all that other good stuff in there, all right? Or just keep rocking this, man. Again, think about something too. As you have to carry this over a period of time, it's lighter. Think about having to sit on a barricade for hours or hold something that you need to hold on a barricade. Like, this is much lighter, dude. Uh, like I said, it's 13.7 pinned and welded. For me, it kind of feels like an SBR, so I feel like I'm cheating, uh, especially in the house, unsuppressed. Uh, I really tried on this one, guys. I hope you like it. If you want one, get one. I hope you do. All right? Thank you for your time.